Hi, today we will explore pipe operator. First, uh, see this function like substitute and call because by these two functions we will try to make your, our own pipe operator. Okay. So as I said, substitute is a function which is used to capture the user's raw text. Uh, okay. So suppose uh, this is the raw text which is uh, entered by the user in the R console. So this is the uh, you can use the substitute function here to capture the code here. Okay. I am capturing here the uh, unevaluated un expression. Then after that, you have to send this capture code to the R evaluator to uh, eval evaluate the code. Okay. And finally, you will get the result. So that is the things we do uh, while we are using the substitute function. Now, if we, suppose you write incorrect grammar things or syntax syntaxly wrong. So in that case, uh, it, it will give you error. Now let's see what is the call. Call is a function which is used to create a manual, manually, ex, manually expression. So suppose you write this, this call function and it will create a expression plus one, two. And if you write this uh, function, it will create a, this expression. Suppose you create this function it will create a expression one plus two, but it are don't are don't able to evaluate this because one is not a function. This, this is a data. This, this, this doesn't make sense as a function. Okay. So that's why our evaluator gives error in, in that scenario to understand the idea behind the creation of pipe operator. Let's see the story here. So here in the slide, as you can see that, it is a university of Houston, which is located in America and Leo is a professor and these are students like Katrina. And so these are some students and let's suppose that Leo, Leo is going to data science boot camp in the college for a one week. Okay. And he, he teach, he will teach R to the student. Now, first day as a normal things you studied, uh, like variable operator condition functions. Okay. How to function call. So this type of thing, this basic things Leo, Leo teach. Then while studying, uh, he uses Leo uses this expression. So now what uh, Katrina says that. Professor, this is very hard to read. I am not understanding. And this, uh, this guy says that I understood, but it takes time to interpret the code. So rest of the student is not happy uh, to see this type of expression because it is so complex and it is so hard to read uh, as well as if you can't read any, any things that how you can understand. Okay. So, uh, now professor rewrite this expression into this, this form. And now students are able to understand. Now the second day he teach data analysis work. So, uh, he teach how to import the data set and how to do transformation like that. And again, he write this type of things. So now this time, nobody is understanding what is the going on here. Okay. So now he write like this. So it, it, you can understood by this expression, but uh, uh, it is also takes time for our brain. Okay. So, and also creating a variable every time it also memory insufficient specifically in the R programming language. So, uh, now professor Leo going to his home and he thinking about first, he is very confused about how to solve this problem of student, how to make syntax more attractive. 
so now he reached home and he is starting exploring the other languages like haskell closer so in haskell there is a dot operator which is used to compose the function and in closer we use this symbol to compose the function okay so it is it is used to compose the function it is not calling actually okay this is different uh, in r so you call in a in a pipe syntax so there is little different than haskell and r but it is easier to read okay you we, we are basically a composing the three function here f g h so likewise so if you don't know all the special symbols like uh, at the rate dollar sign and percentage plus minus so this type of special symbol it is used as a infix operator in the languages okay you will see this pattern in all of the languages like c c plus plus haskell uh, java all of the languages follow this pattern okay so he also this follow this pattern and he choose a special symbol like equal to and greater than to represent the pipe operator so um <coughs> now uh, he want to give the name so what he give the name he give the name pipe operator okay if you want to make a infix operator in r you have to type percentage and special symbols and percentage you can make uh, the infix operator by using this method now leo see the tools available for the doing meta programming in r so he found substitute and call function and other function as well so in this video i will talk about substitute function and call function only so um, suppose this is the expression x plus y and i want to convert into x plus a plus b similarly this is the expression uh, users give a plus b i want to convert this expression into a plus a plus b so here if you notice only second argument is replacing by the a plus b and you can do this type of thing using the substitute method let's see so i am capturing here the user's input like x plus y and what i am doing here so see the substitute function here so i am building a expression x plus y plus z and i am putting here the values so i am so now let's see the second argument of substitute function list okay list x equal to s s break uh, uh, close bracket 2 so this is basically i am indexing okay and you can think parse tree as a vector so if i write i wrote here s s bracket 2 that means that it return the value whose index is okay so it will return a x similarly i i am assigning the a symbol in the y and i am assigning the symbol b in z so finally we get this expression okay you can try in r it works similarly you can do like this this type of things by the using of substitute method now let's see uh now leo he think how my users input will look in a different different scenario so he wanted to make a pipe operator so he start thinking okay so uh, first he build three scenario here scenario number one where uh, we have a one argument function in scenario number two we have a two inputs function scenario number three it have a three argument function okay so he will think uh, in a different different scenario uh, how the pipe operator will look like okay so first he you can so in case of single argument function you can make this type of function uh, as you can see in the r uh, you just i am just calling 
I am taking here two two argument here left hand side and right hand side I'm okay I put I give this name here uh, and what I am doing here I am creating a function RHS and I give input LHS to the RHS okay this is this is the things I am doing here so if you use these things uh, you are able to do this type of things okay you can use the pipe or, or pipe operator as you can see I am giving add to uh, add to is a function okay one argument function I, I am giving the value x and he will return the four okay but it is not working this scenario in this scenario now let's see scenario number two in the case of two argument function so what I am doing here so I am using this time a call call function to build the expression uh, you can think parse tree as a as a vector okay so now let's see call function what it will do so if you observed the first argument of call function is ss close bracket one it it means that i am returning the the first index value so it return a sum okay similarly the second argument is lhs that means what is lhs x so it return the x okay now uh, see the third argument here ss2 that means that i am returning uh, 3 here because it has a 2 index okay right so 3 and finally we get this expression and now we finally able to calculate uh, two argument function by the use of pipe operator but uh, uh, suppose if you want to handle three argument function you have to write this expression you have to write this type of x expression if you want to handle four argument function again so the we have a hundred function okay and to deal with this hundred function if you are if you are you if you want to use pipe so you need to need to make a hundred types of pipe operator so this is a problem so how to solve this type of problem now let's look this this is the vector it has a value 10 20 30 if i want to extract the first element of vector i have to write v bracket 1 so it will return a first value 10 okay so similarly if i want to extract the first two element from the vector then i have to write one double column 2 so it will return but suppose i want to extract all the elements except one so i can write in this scenario v minus 1 so it will it will return 20 30 and these things we will use to build a complex expression that that works on all the all types of function okay so let's see these uh, things in the code i am using here as dot call function okay it is a variant of call function because i i cannot able to do with the call function that's why i am using here the variant of call function as dot call okay so what i am doing here first i am creating a expression and so see this this uh, s s1 so that means that i am extracting the first index value from the vector ss that means that the first value of expression is many similarly let's see the second argument that is lhs so lhs is 2 okay after that i am writing here ss minus 1 as you can see in the as dot call function in the in the slide okay i am i am i wrote here ss minus 1 now it means that it will extract 
extract all the element except the first element so what is the special things about this fun this pipe operator is that it 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 this works on any number of function argument okay and suppose we have a function like we which have a uh, three argument so you can extract like this okay using this minus one indexing system which is provided by the r so finally leo leo created a pipe operator and he uses this pipe operator in the college lecture and students are happy so uh, we will create a another syntax using the pipe operator and it create a another r code okay and that is the meaning of meta programming this is a college lecture things so i am using here this so this is a code which i explained you in already in the slide i just run it uh see this pipe operator i am using here back tick so whenever you you write anything in the back tick it become a identifier okay and finally we get uh jet is missing uh <clears throat> oh, so it is work okay you can represent these things this syntax which is little bit hard to interpret and you can use this the pipe operator and it is work so we finally build our on in our on pipe operator but this pipe operator don't work on tidyverse syntax t okay and why we are why it is not working we will explore in next video thank you